What is going on guys? This is Ama the West, a full stack developer and a WordPress core contributor. I'm a DevOps fanboy and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can start self-hosting WordPress with DigitalOcean and Easy Engine. So let's hit the road running. If you are new to this world, you must be wondering what is DigitalOcean. A very simple definition would be they provide you with cloud computing power. Yes, you can spin up an SSD cloud server in seconds. They provide you with highly available persistent block storage and lightning fast network with free monitoring applications and their reliable REST API makes things a lot better. Find the link in the description below to sign up with DigitalOcean. And now we are logged in to our DigitalOcean dashboard. First thing you'll notice that you can create a droplet. It is a cloud server. They just call this things droplets, so don't get confused on them. Once you click this uh, big blue button, you will be configuring your first droplet. So let's choose the latest version of Ubuntu they are offering. I'm, I'm choosing this $5 per month plan. Let's go ahead and choose New York as our data center region. I'm going to switch on monitoring and I'm going to be using an SSD SSH key that I have added beforehand. If you do not know what SSH keys are, well, just learn about them by searching at Google how to use SSH keys with DigitalOcean products. You will find easy to follow and fully explained tutorials right here on DigitalOcean. We are using Ubuntu, five bucks a month plan. We have our data center chosen in New York. The monitoring is on. I have selected the SSH key and all I need, really need to do now is click this create button. As you can see here, my droplet is being created. It only takes a few minutes. Why don't we jump ahead and start learning more about Easy Engine? Easy Engine, the easy part as they say, is built by this company called RT Camp. They are a VIP agency partner for WordPress, which means you can really trust your service code with them. To install Easy Engine, all you have to do is run this command by logging into your server. And from there, you can create setups that includes Nginx, MySQL, PHP 7, and all sorts of goodness like enabling HTTPS through Let's Encrypt, having Redis caching, and all sorts of stuff. You can really create more than 15 types of WordPress sites with this server. I think if you are going to learn something related to DevOps, Ops, or uh, if you are an IT guy, and you want to start hosting your WordPress websites by yourself, then, then the combination of DigitalOcean plus Easy Engine is a perfect one for beginners. So let's go ahead and see if our DigitalOcean droplet is ready. As you can see, the droplet is here and ready. And here is its IP address. Since I have already set up my SSH keys, I'm going to just log into this. To log into the server, all I really need to do is type SSH DO meetup. And let's confirm that I really want to log into the server. And here it goes. I'm logged into Ubuntu 512 MB. That is the host name we chose for our server. So yes, we are logged into our server. Let me clear the screen. So open up easyengine.io and copy this command to install Easy Engine. I pasted it here and now it is doing a lot of stuff. It is downloading Easy Engine for me and it is going through a bunch of security check. It is updating the software already installed in the system. It is fetching the new libraries. Just let it work. Easy Engine also offers Git version control. So obviously it needs your name and email address to do that. Well, I'm going to put my name here, Ahmed, and my email ID. So while Easy Engine is installing and updating my server, why don't we go ahead and look at how we can install WordPress on our server. Well, with Easy Engine, you can create 15 types of WordPress sites. You can install WordPress with no cache. You can install WordPress in a multi-site form. You can install WordPress with pre-installed caches. It looks like Easy Engine has been successfully installed. If you need to confirm that, you can type EE hyphen hyphen version. And it looks like I'm at Easy Engine version 3.7.4 built by Articam Solutions Private Limited. So now that our Easy Engine is installed in our server, what we really need to do is tell Easy Engine site command to create a site for us. And that site should be WordPress site. Easy Engine documentation is very simple and you can do a lot of stuff with this. Let's go into the site command and then create command. You can create as many sites as you want in the same server. You can create an HTML website. You can create a PHP website with MySQL. You can enable Let's Encrypt SSL, free SSL with a site and whatnot. So the one I really like is a WordPress website with Nginx Redux cache. And I'm also going to create the site using PHP 7. The command would look like EE site create. Since I haven't attached a domain to the server, what I'm going to use is the IP of the server to access the site. So instead of a domain, instead of example.com or whatever, I'm using the IP of the server. So I'm asking Easy Engine 
site command to create a site called this. I'm telling it to be of type WP Redis with PHP 7. Easy Engine is going to ask me a bunch of things like PHP 7 is an experimental feature. Yes, I need it. And the Redis caching is also an experimental feature, but yeah, I'm okay with it. Let's press Y and hit return. Now, as you can see, Easy Engine is installing a bunch of stuff. It is creating a repository for MySQL, for Nginx, for PHP, for Redis. It is adding swap files and a lot of stuff. And once it is done doing this kind of thing, it will prompt you with the details of your WordPress website. Yeah, with just two commands, you were able to set up a WordPress website with Redis caching on PHP 7. Yeah, it doesn't get any simpler than that. While Easy Engine here is working on creating the site, why don't we go ahead and look at the documentation of Easy Engine, the Easy Engine commands. In the Easy Engine site command, you can create, delete, edit, show, info, list, site update, and do a lot of stuff with, with this command. As you can see here, as you can see here, Easy Engine has installed my site. It has created, it has told me a bunch of stuff about it. My WordPress admin user is Ahmed, and this is the password it has chosen for me. You can customize all of this stuff if you dig into the documentation of Easy Engine. So what we are going to do is we are going to access this link and we are going to Enable Redis caching here. Yeah, that's about it. We have a new WordPress website installed via Easy Engine by just typing two commands. And there's a lot more you can do with it. Let's try and see how fast really the new installed website is. You can do that by going to gtmetrics.com. Yeah, well, guess what? It loads in less than a second and has perfect scores and it is hosted on a DigitalOcean 5 bucks a month server. I think that's about it, but I have battle tested this website setup by a little bit of improvement. I have used this particular setup for a website that gets more than 10,000 visitors a day. It's a simple blog, but that's a huge traffic to handle if you are only paying five bucks a month for a DigitalOcean server. If you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe to my channel and wait for more. Thank you.